Apparently there's going to be a state of play on Thursday 1pm pacific time and I thought you guys wanted to know. Apparently they're going to be showing off some PS4 games and PS3 games. I find it a little bit weird considering we're getting PS5 but of course I would assume that there will still be console support for the PS4 for a little bit longer before the PS5 is basically the whole revolution I guess you could say but um, something that I really want to talk about was that there's something interesting about the state of the play that I don't think any, uh, anything anyone else is noticing. So basically there was rumors or leaks I guess you could say that there was supposed to be a state of play. I believe the leak even said that it was supposed to be on um, Thursday so the leak was pretty much right about that. And they mentioned some few announcements about some upcoming upcoming titles and it's a little bit weird because the games they mentioned in the upcoming titles are basically games that are basically um, remakes or like big companies like Days Gone 2 I guess you could say or like God of War 2 and the only reason I'm saying this now is because I really don't think the leaks are true for that. I believe they're false in my opinion. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell because they somehow got the release date right of there being a state of play on August 6th but I won't be surprised if the leaks about the, these big upcoming games are false but we'll have to see and wait. The only reason I'm not thinking that there's going to be any console stuff is because there's they said there was no big PS5 announcements so I find it a little bit weird that um, why would they announce some PS5 stuff at the PlayStation um, State of Play. Um, I really don't think these are like PS5 exclusive stuff if that makes sense. I really legitimately think that this is basically just stuff from, you know, PS4 still, which I don't think people are understanding, so um, that's what I found really interesting about this. Now, um, the reason I wanted to make this video um, was because Life is Strange 3, because apparently there's rumors about Life is Strange 3 possibly being in development just because of the job listing of Deck 9 games, about there being like a job listing, and people think that just because of what's listed in a job listing, this entitles that they're making a choice main game and the only thing that has choice main game is Life is Strange 3. And I still don't know about that. I do think that they could be working on one, but we'll have to wait and see. But I do think that there could be a chance that Square Enix were is this Square Enix? Yeah, it's Square Enix. Yeah. Um I do think they're gonna be here at the state of the play to reveal some stuff because they mentioned that they will be showing off some stuff in August and as well, um, and I feel like it's August, show something. <laughs> um, I don't know how to feel about them making another Life is Strange game at the moment because apparently um, they're working on Tell Me Why and they're working on Twin Mirror. So I find it a little bit weird about um, them announcing like, hey, we're making a Life is Strange 3 game after Tell Me Why isn't even released yet. That's why I personally find it a little bit odd, in my opinion, but I feel like in these rumors, um, there could be a chance that Life is Strange 3 could be revealed at State of Play because Square Enix has revealed some stuff at State of Play before, like Final Fantasy 7, even though that was PlayStation exclusive, but we're not going to talk about that. But I really do feel like they could be here at the State of Play to reveal something, at least maybe not Don't Nod or maybe not Deck 9 games, I do think Square Enix is going to be there. Because I'm trying to think of games that are really like in the PS4 era and PS era games. There could be a possible chance that they could support PS5, I would assume so. Um, probably just not yet. I'm assuming that they want to release it on the PS4 is because everyone has, this is just an assumption, but everyone still has their current gen and no one obviously bought a PS5 or Xbox Series X one because they're not even out yet. But. I don't know, I feel like there really is a chance of Life is Strange 3 possibly being revealed as State of the Play. Now I'm just doing some speculations, this is not official, this is not confirmed, but let me tell you this way, PlayStation says that they're going to be showing upcoming PS4 and PSVR games, and they mentioned check-ins and third-party and indie games from June's PS5 showcase, and they also mentioned about there not being any PS5 updates or announcements, so they clearly, this is not supposed to be like a PS5 big continuous thing, I guess you could say. This is legitimately gonna be like um, a check-in, or not check-in, but like, um, what the fuck do you call it? Um, it's gonna be just a showcase, obviously. And I feel like now is the best time for them to show um, the next game, which is Life is Strange 3. We had Life is Strange 2, which came out, I believe, was it? 
I think it came out a year ago, the last episode, if I remember correctly. I don't remember correctly, though. Um, it's a year, I, came, I think the last episode came out 2019, so... It, it is a little bit too soon, but there's been a lot of like speculations, I guess you could say, that maybe they could be making a spin-off Life is Strange game, and I don't know whether that would continue Sean or Daniel a prequel, because I don't know what you can really do with them. They somehow did it with Max and um, with Chloe with Life is Strange Before the Storm. They were able to make um, a prequel of Chloe and her friendship with Rachel. And I don't know what they can really do with Sean or Daniel. Um, the only reason why I don't think there is not nothing this can, they can do with Sean is be, um, Daniel because um, this might sound a little bit ugh, but I don't think there's much character for him, if that makes sense, um, in like a prequel. Because the difference with Before the Storm and like Daniel, for example, is Before the Storm. Um, in Life is Strange 1, the whole game was basically about finding where the heck is Rachel Amber. And before the storm took that concept and did like in a way a reverse where they somehow made the um they made the main character who or not oh, ugh, they made the person who was missing in the first game be a big part of the prequel and you actually got to learn who the heck is Rachel Amber. With Life is Strange 2, I don't know what they can really do because there wasn't like a mysterious character they're trying to find. Um, the only character I would assume is maybe Sean they can continue off of to like figure out how he grew his character or like before he had to go on his journey to go to Mexico. So that's what I find a little bit confusing. So I'm not sure if there's enough source material for them to do that. That's why I feel like maybe a new new set of characters is probably better off um, instead of trying to think of a forced prequel I guess you could say that's just my opinion they, they could make it legitimate happen I just don't know how they would do that it's up to the writers obviously for them to figure out how they want to make a prequel if that's the plan because it's only been like realistically like maybe a year or two since um, Life is Strange 2 released um, final episode so I don't know how that works so we're gonna have to just have to wait and see but yeah what do you guys think about the state of play? Do you guys think we're going to actually be seeing some news? I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say because I really I really have no idea. I really I really probably want to hope that there's a Life is Strange 3. I wasn't a big fan of the second game, but I really don't mind the franchise. I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, but we have to wait and see. I'm not going to... This is not confirming anything. Um, this is just speculation. So I just want to keep everyone in mind that there could be no Life is Strange 3 announcement. But... I thought this was an interesting topic just because of the fact that um, it's going to be focusing on PS4 titles and PS Vita titles, and I really thought that would be interesting for me to talk about. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section below, and let me know if you guys think that there will be a Life is Strange 3 <laughs> or something. I'm sorry, I'm sick. Not really. Um, or an announcement from Square Enix. I'm really curious to hear your opinion. But yeah, that's why I'm going to end the video, so I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you're brand new. <laughs> that was weird, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go. Bye.